Hello. Hello! This is Ben. She's Hayley. And this is the, the No Grow, Grow Show Show. Show. This show is all about how we can know, grow and show God's love to others. And we see God's amazing provision all around us, don't we Ben? We certainly do. He's been my friend, he's been my provider with a house and food on the table. And we're always so grateful to God for those things. We hope that this show will help you to learn more about his love and to show that love to others. So, Ben, you really, really like food, don't you? I really, really like food. And do you think that you like every food? I'm pretty sure I like every food. And what's your favourite? My favourite food is pizza. Oh, pizza. We love pizza, don't we? We love we? pizza. So you think you like all food, and would you be willing to put that to the test? I think I would be. I have got the perfect game for you. Are you up for it? I'm up for it. So, on the table, you will see... Ta-da! A selection of baby food. Don't look so sure anymore, do you, Ben? No. No. So I've got my amazing dice here. I'm going to roll the dice, and you're going to sample whichever food correlates with the number, and then you're going to guess what the flavour is. Okay. I Are think, you ready? I think I'm ready. Okay, so I'm going to roll the dice first of all. Okay. Whoa, it's number six! Okay. Let's get going. Oh, it's green. It's green. Oh, and it's sloppy. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can look. Oh, oh, that's a big mouthful as well. Oh, Ben. <laughs> what flavour do you think it is? Are you okay? Oh, <laughs> go on, Ben. You can do it. What flavour is it? Salty feet. I don't think it is salty feet. What's your real guess, Ben? Spinach and pea. It is cheesy potato and spinach bake. Oh. That wasn't far off. Are you ready for another one or can you not take any more? I'm ready for another one. You can do anything, can't you, Ben? Yes. Right, let's go. Number two. Oh, it's six again. We've already done that one. Let's roll Three again. Four. You ready? Yep. It's number four. Okay. Oh, it's white. That looks better, maybe. No, still sloppy. Go on, Ben, you can do it. Give it a go. Oof. What is it? Is it sort of, <laughs> is it cheesy? What, I mean, can you describe the textures to us? I can't imagine it. It's, it's slime, slimy potato flavour. Slimy, I don't think it is slimy potato flavour. Do you want to try another guess? I think it's, um, Cheesy cauliflower. Uh, it is creamed porridge breakfast. Okay. Did you get that? Were you getting those aromas? Yeah, it was really nice. Do you think you can take one more, Ben? I think I can take one more. You are an incredible man. Let's go. It's number five. Are you ready? Yeah, That one's ready. orange. I don't know how I feel about that. Come on, Ben. Give it a stir. And I get a nice big mouthful so you can get all of the flavours. Oh, it's sloppy. Oh, oh, that doesn't look good. Are you, are you okay? I don't know if he's going to get through. Been looking a bit green there, Ben. What flavour is that? Really just feel it on the palate. I think that's armpit flavour. It's not armpit flavour. Try one more time. I think it's uh, carrots and swedes. Carrots and swedes. It is tasty vegetable risotto. Are we getting that one? No. You did an amazing job, Ben. And can you confirm, do you like all foods? No, I do not like all foods. <laughs> oh, what a disgusting game that was. But you know what, Hayley? We don't have to eat baby food anymore because we are all grown up, just like God wants us to be. Grown up? Ben Morris, I don't think so. So Hayley, what is this No Show Grow all about? It's the No Grow Show Show, Ben. Pretty sure that's what I said. It wasn't, but it's okay, because we've got our three tremendous truth cards that help us to remember these three things. First of all, I know that God loves me. Secondly, that my roots grow deep into God's love. And thirdly, that God's mighty power is in me to show his love to others. And that's amazing. Let's find out some more about these three tremendous truths. We have got a few lovely hearts in our studio. Can you find them at home? And what about you, Ben? Could you find us a heart, please? Let me try. Yes, found one. Good. We have hearts in our studio to remind us how much God loves us. When you see a heart or you hear the word no, you can know that God loves you. 
And that's amazing because when God loves you, it changes everything. everything. Now, do you remember a song from when we were little? Is it song time, Ben? I think it might be. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. I don't recognise that one, Ben, no, but thank you. It was a good song and it does remind us how much we can know God loves us. Let's see what Isaac has to tell us about that. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. May you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Thanks, Isaac. Let's read that again together and learn some action so we can remember it in the future. Good idea, Ben. So if you've got your Bibles at home, you just need to take them and turn to your contents page because that's how we find a verse. So we're looking for Ephesians chapter 3, starting at verse 16. Ben, are you ready? Ready. I'm ready. I pray that from his glorious, unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then... Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high and how deep his love is. Isn't that amazing, Ben? It really is. When God loves us, it changes everything. So every time I see a heart... I'm going to remember that Jesus wants me to know that he loves me. So we've already learned about number one in our tremendous truths. I know God loves me. So let's look at number two. My roots grow deep into God's love. Hayley, what's all this about roots? I don't have any roots. Of course you don't have any roots, Ben. You're a human. But you do have a different type of roots. The kind of roots that have grown deep into our relationship with God. Let's think back to that yucky baby food we ate earlier on. It was gross, wasn't it? But when we were babies, we loved the stuff. We couldn't get enough of it. But now we don't like it so much because we've grown just how God wanted us to do. Ben, you think you're an adult, right? Right. I think it's time we test that theory. What do you reckon? Okay. Okay, so you name for me some things that you can do now that you could not do when you were a baby. I can jump. I can swim. I can shout. Yes. I can even eat pizza. <laughs> you can. And we love eating pizza. We love food, don't we, Ben? We do. But the thing is, when we were babies, we hated it. We couldn't even eat it. But now we've grown, we can enjoy different things just like how we're gonna grow in our relationship with God. We'll enjoy different things as our relationship with him matures. But he doesn't want us to just have grown on the outside. He wants us to grow on the inside too, so that we can grow in our relationship with him and grow in our knowledge of how much he loves us. Hayley, do you think we've got something here that could remind us to grow our roots deep into God's love. Of course we do, Ben. We've got these lovely plants, like this massive one here, that's gonna have really deep roots. Just how we want us to have roots that are deep in God. That's great. Maybe we should find out what some of our families have as suggestions to do to keep growing deep in God. Every Tuesday, Ben and I are doing prayer and fasting with the church. After school, we fast our snack time and spend some time with God instead. Two weeks ago, I prayed that God would help me to improve my handwriting. This week, I got People of the Week for my excellent efforts with handwriting. It's been really great to see God's work in our lives already. Hi! Well, the Vasey family would just like to recommend the Action Bible Cards, Heroes Card Collection, and the Action Bible. We've had them for quite a a few weeks now and we've been really encouraged, blessed and inspired to get into God's Word and learn more about God's brilliant truth. Over to you Lil. Well so this card's about Joseph and on the back it has an action word, 
It also has main points about the character in the Bible and where you can learn more. Well done. What I've learned from this card, The Woman in the Well, is that God values everybody, even you, no matter how good or, no, or how bad you are. Brilliant. Thank you, Bob. This is the Action Bible. And those two cards that Sam and Lily have just talked about are connected to the Bible. I really like reading the Bible. It's in comic form and it helps us learn more about God. Brilliant. If you want something great to put on your Christmas list, um, would you recommend it, guys? Yes, yes we, would. we would. Absolutely. Thanks. We love gathering around our table for breakfast time and talking about the stuff that Jesus has done and told us and like Martha. What has God said to you? He said that he's, he's going to heal my eyes. He said that he's going to heal your eye to you. That's great. And also Martha, what else do we like doing? We like we like having praise parties. We love having praise parties at the Jesus parties. praise parties. Yeah! Woohoo! Woo! Joel, what have you been doing to help you get to know God a bit better? Like doing Bible verses. Excellent. What have you been doing with those Bible verses? Writing them out in my notebook. And how do you choose which ones to write out from your Bible? Do you choose the memory verses that are in bold? Yeah. Wow, they were amazing! Thank you so much children for taking the time to send those videos in. We love them. Some really great ideas that I'm definitely going to try at home. I wonder what you can do as a family to grow in God this week. Ben, where are you, Ben? I can hear him. He must be in here. Ben! He's not in there. Has anyone seen Ben? Ben, where are you? Come out now, Ben! Hayley, I'm here. Ben, what on earth are you doing? This is my den. It's my shelter. Ben, I thought you were supposed to be an adult now. I am an adult, and this is my den. So, Ben, can you tell us why you're in a den? I've been thinking about what Isaac said earlier, about the verses he read. And verse 17 says that Jesus can make a home in our hearts. But not everyone knows that. Mm -hmm. And one of the things Jesus said to us was that we needed to go out into all the world and make disciples for him. So we've already looked at two tremendous truths. Number one, I know God loves me. And number two, my roots grow deep down in him. So what's number three? God's mighty power is in me to show his love to others. That's true, Ben, because so many people just don't know about the love of Jesus. And we have got a mighty mission to go out into all of the world and show them God's love. You can clasp your hands together just like I did, and it will remind you to show God's love. One of the ways in which me and my family show God's love to those around us is that we give food and clothes out to the homeless people in Leicester City Centre, those that don't have a home and sometimes they only have a den. I'm going to call my mum right now and ask her to tell you all about it. Hi mum. Hello Ben. So what is it that you actually do with the homeless people in Leicester? Well, we go out every day, five days a week, we go out and we take them hot meals, hot drinks, lovely hot chocolates and cappuccino coffees, and they have lots of sugar in it. And we take them picnic bags of food. We take them warm clothing and blankets, to keep them warm when they're sleeping at night and toiletries as well. That's so brilliant. So why do you call them your friends? Well, we've been going to see them now for over nine months and at the beginning it was every day and now it's five days a week and they literally have become our friends. We know their names, we chat to them, we know about their lives and we're trying to help them. Amazing. So what do they say about the help that you give them? They say, we know that Jesus loves us because you come here and bring us this food every day. Every day we always tell them Jesus loves you and he cares for you. 
and they're just really really grateful that we can be there to look after them at this difficult time perfect and what would the money be raised by all of these guys camping and making dens be going towards this is such a special thing that all these amazing children are going to do. We wanted to find something really special to treat our friends with. And we've decided that we're going to use the money to make them a Christmas Day dinner. And they'll be so grateful to all the lovely children for doing this for them. Thank you very much, Mum. Bye. Bye. I'm sure that our families can really help our homeless friends especially as it's Christmas, we can really show them the love of Jesus. So we've got a challenge for you. Can you build a den and get your friends and family to sponsor you so that we can raise money to help our homeless friends this Christmas? All you've got to do is plan your den and then get people to sponsor you with either a little bit of money or more if they can do it so that we can bless them hugely. The Just Giving link is appearing right now at the bottom of the screen. The other thing that we need to do is not just provide our homeless friends with a meal, but it's also to show God's love. So could you also make them a Christmas card? It won't take you very long, but it'll be a huge blessing to somebody that otherwise probably wouldn't get a kind message or a message of love this Christmas. You can post your cards through to Live in Rock Church, Stony Stanton, Leicestershire, LE9, LU and we'll make sure that they get into just the right hands and the hands of those that need a little love this Christmas most of all. You're going to make a huge difference and we can't wait to see how you can show love in our community. This is the part of the show where we slow down and take some time to chat with God. That's really important because that's how we can grow closer to him, learn to hear his voice and obey him. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pray and you're going to pray along with me. And I'm going to leave some gaps where you get to pray and listen to what God is saying to you. Okay. Jesus, as we chat to you right now, we pray that we would know how much you love us more than we ever have before. Help us to grow more deeply into you each and every day. And tell us who we can show your amazing love to and how to do it. Amen. things for you to focus on. Number one, you can start learning your memory verse, which is from Ephesians and is appearing at the bottom of the screen right now. Number two, you can start planning your dens for our Hope for the Homeless campaign. We can't wait to see them. And number three, you need to send us those photos and videos of you and your dens and all of the amazing spaces you've created in order to raise money. Email them in to the email address that's at the bottom of the screen. We can't wait to see them. She's been Hayley. And that's been Ben. And we'll see you next time on The, the No Grow Show Show. Show.